Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for chair yoga. And today we're going to be strengthening through the very center line of our body, through the core, the postural muscles, everything that helps keep us strong within our posture. So making sure the chair you're on is comfortable and stable and you've got a bit of space around you. Choose where it is that you want to sit today. So maybe the back of the chair and the support there feels really good. Or as we're focusing on that core strength, consider coming away from the back of the chair somewhat. That way we have to keep our spine lengthened ourselves rather than using that support. And at any time you can come forward and back from that support. Know that there is no wrong way to do this. And it's really important that if you want to rest or it feels too much, to really tune into that and take the rest that you need. This is a video, so at any point you can just stop it, go get a glass of water, do whatever, do whatever it is that you need to do, or just do as much as feels good today, then come back to it at a different time. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. So pick up through those toes, maybe the balls of the feet, give those a little wiggle, maybe spread those toes really nice and wide. And then when you're ready, take the soles of your feet back down to the earth, whatever that may be underneath you. And don't worry if you've got shoes or socks or slippers on. Connecting down to that support underneath you. You can even push down a little bit and feel the uh, muscles in your legs start to fire up and then release that pressure, just so we have awareness down to the soles of your feet. And then when you're ready, take a big breath in. On an exhale, soften or lower your gaze or close your eyes, and take all of your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Notice where you're connected downwards to the earth. Imagine, if you like, roots growing downwards through the earth, all the way down, keeping you rooted and connected. And then imagine that energy from the earth drawing back up through those roots into the soles of your feet. And like a glass filling from the bottom first, imagine that energy drawing up through your feet and ankles, up through your lower legs and knees. You can imagine, sense, or feel that drawing up through your upper legs into the bowl of your pelvis. Notice how rooted and connected your seat is down to your chair. And then allow that energy to draw upwards through your spine, through your torso, all the way up through your chest and heart space as it spills over your shoulders and down through your arms to your fingertips and connecting, continuing upwards through your neck and throat all the way up to the crown of your head as if there's a reaching upwards. Connected down to the earth and have drawn that energy upwards through our body. Notice how that feels. Notice how you feel in this moment. If there's any tension or tightness in your body, offer yourself some softness there. So we have this rooting to rise, this length through the upper body. Draw the shoulders up towards the ears in your own way and then settle them back and down. And you can do that a couple of times, easing any tightness that may be present. And then allow the shoulders to deepen downwards towards the earth and get some more space between the shoulders and the ears. Broaden through the collarbone so we get this broadness, this width across the chest. Shoulder blades snuggle softly towards each other, but without tension. And I'm starting to pay attention 
to your breath. The inhale and the exhale. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you today, and if not, in a way that is easy and natural for you. Imagine that inhale is coming from the base of your pelvis and it's coming up through the spine, up through the throat to the crown of your head, and on the exhale, it's settling back down towards that pelvic bowl. Inhaling and exhaling, imagine a little tiny breath elevator drawing up through your spine, finding length on the inhale, exhale, settling down. Allow that elevator to follow the length of your breath. Allow that elevator to be as steady and as smooth as you can make it. Just as much emphasis on that exhale as on the inhale. Notice if there's any areas that feel really jumpy, know that that's natural and easy for all of us to have those places. And just continue that work of that steadiness of that elevator breath up and down in your own rhythm, you'll breathe differently. And maybe that elevator doesn't come all the way up to the crown of your head or all the way down towards the seat. Maybe it settles somewhere between the head and the heart or your belly and your heart. Anything goes here. Make it your own. But that rising of the inhale and the falling of the exhale. Steady and stable. If there's any tension that's crept into your body or your emotions or your mind, then allow that to soften, but feel that steady core, that, that breath is coming up and down through the center line of your body, through the spine, with that rooting downwards to rise up from And at any time during the next or during the session, you can come back to this simply sitting and following your breath in and out, up and down. If at any time we're holding the breath at the top or the bottom of that elevator, then do your best to come back to that steady breath. There's a brief pause at the very bottom of the breath and the top of the breath with that elevator. But other than that, it is always in motion. Keeping the hands resting on the thighs, rooting to rise. Feeling that strength through the center line of your body. There's a natural rising up through the upper body. There's a natural grounding through the lower body. Imagine from that heart space, on the inhale, I'm going to drag those hands back as the heart lifts. So there's an openness to the front of the chest. On the exhale, the fingertips slide towards the knees and we've got seated cat and cow. I'll let the breath guide you. I highly recommend lowering, softening your eyes or closing them as we've got that internal focus. Inhaling, the elevator lifts up through the heart, maybe up through the chin, you can lift the gaze. On the exhale, that chin comes down towards the chest as that elevator sinks downwards steadily. Noticing how that feels for you. This can be a big or small motion. It can be right up there, just in the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades together on the inhale as they slide apart on the exhale. You can bring it all the way down into the belly. The belly comes forward on the inhale, sending the tailbone out behind you. Exhaling, tucking the tailbone as you sit onto towards the back of the pelvis. You can get the feet involved on that inhale, not that they've um, move, but imagine dragging your heels back towards the chair and on the exhale, pushing into the earth as if you're pushing the toes away from you. And then we get the whole body involved. Adding on through the arms if you wish, arms dangle down next to you and we'll lift the arms as wide as um, 
feels comfortable in the shoulders, that's the inhale, and on the exhale, the fingertips send downwards towards the earth, maybe even back behind your hips. And again, as if you're holding a box in your hands, inhaling up and exhaling down. This doesn't have to be a big move. If you want to add on on the inhale, that extension through the spine, looking upwards towards that box or that beach ball above you. On the exhale, as you curl the belly in, option to curl into the front body as we lower the chest. Inhaling up and exhaling down, we get that extra curve through the back. Now more is not better here. We want that elevator breath, so everything is in sync with the breath. On that inhale as the elevator lifts towards the crown of the head, maybe up through the fingertips. Everything lengthens. On the exhale, as we sink down, maybe that elevator goes all the way down towards the earth, towards the soles of your feet. Always resting whenever you need to. Other than that, we've got another three to go. Noticing where you feel this in your body, being honest with yourself if you do need to rest. Last one. And then coming all the way back up. Dangling the hands next to you. Give them a little shake. And then from there, we're circling through the shoulders. Again, lowering the gaze, closing the eyes is great as we get that internal focus. Elevator breath draws the shoulders up. And on that exhale, it settles back down. Notice where you feel this in your shoulders. And then at the end of the next exhale, we'll pause and draw that round in the opposite direction. Keep the breath steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. Another two, resting whenever you need to. And then coming all the way back to center. The left hand taking the side of the chair or resting or dangling, your choice. We'll turn that right palm out. Now we're getting into the strength, strengthening through the lateral side of the spine. From the elbow, on the right arm, inhaling the fingertips up towards the shoulder, palm pushes down on that exhale. Again, the elevator breath is guiding the movement. The inhale is the length, up, exhale, coming down. Option to stay there, keeping the shoulders soft or starting to move from the shoulder, inhaling up. Palm down on the exhale, nice and soft with the joints. Imagine, sense, or feel that breath coming upwards with the hand, exhaling down. If you really get that internal experience of this, it almost feels like the breath is lifting the arm. With that support from the left hand, option that inhale up and over, exhaling down. You can even imagine the breath coming up that whole right side, up to the fingertips, through the crown of the head, exhaling down. Again, softening the gaze, closing the eyes. Got another two here to go. Keep everything steady so we're not collapsing to the left. There is a control there, control with the breath, control with your body. Taking that right hand back down, any intuitive movement you need to release tension, you can use that right hand for support. Turning the left palm out from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down, elevate your breath. option to just stay here, keeping those shoulders nice and soft. 
or option to lift from the left shoulder. Keep the joints easy. There's a flow to the movement here. And anytime we get our head involved, then there's not so much flow. So see if you can allow your body to do the work for you. With that right hand as support, the option is to take those left fingertips up and over. Now this may feel very different this side. You can imagine that elevated breath lifting up through the fingertips, exhaling all the way down the left side. This is your body, your breath, your movement. So adjust and adapt to anything. We've got another two on this side. Nicely done. When those fingertips come down or when you're ready, they stay. Let's take those hands into soft fists and just circle through the wrists one direction. And then round in the opposite direction. Nice and slow, elevate your breath. And then release. And give your hands and arms a little bit of a shake. And then from there, we're rooting to rise. Elevate your breath. And I'm going to get you to take your two peace fingers, whichever hand feels comfortable for you, towards your belly button. Just enough that you can feel the pressure of your fingers gently resting there over your clothes. And then slide the fingers down about two or three centimeters. So you're on your lower abdomen. And again, you can feel that gentle pressure. We're not poking the fingers in, we're just we're gently resting them. From there, with that elevator breath, keeping the breath flowing. I want you to imagine that those two fingertips just became ice cubes and you just draw the skin of the lower belly in and away, just a little bit. The breath is still flowing. So if you held your breath, let's do that again. Um, keep the breath flowing, fingertips resting on the lower abdominals. Keep the flow of the breath. We're always flowing through the breath. And then those fingertips become ice cubes. Keep the breath and just draw the skin away from the fingertips. You'll probably feel a little pressure there still. We've got that elevator breath. So what this is, is it's activating the transverse abdominals, which with some of the movements we've been doing, they've been involved in, but now we're clearly activating them. There is a sense of the belly button drawing in and up, but the breath is still flowing. And then when you're ready, release the fingers. And then on an exhale, release the hold in the lower belly. So there'll be a softening. You'll get that kind of soft Buddha belly. So the breath is still flowing. So this is core activation. Your, your transverse abdominals are kind of like a corset of muscles going around the lower abdominals. They're imperative for our posture, for that strength through the center of the body. So we're gonna do that one more time. And if you choose not to, no big deal. Fingertips on your belly button, sliding them down two or three centimeters so they're just resting on your skin under your, um, on top of your clothes. You can feel that pressure. The breath is flowing. And then those fingertips become ice cubes. And all you're gonna do gently with the flowing breath is scoot that skin of the lower belly away from your fingertips just a little. There's a drawing towards the spine and slightly up with the belly button. But the breath is flowing. If your breath is held, then release a little so you can keep the activation and keep the breath. It is less effort than you think. Keep the activation of the transverse abdominals. Take the hands towards the upper legs. With this drawing in and up, 
Soften the shoulders, reach through the crown of the head, but root down through your feet and seat. And still we have that activation and the breath is flowing, that elevator breath. This is the inhale on the exhale, keeping a long spine, drawing the shoulders forward. We've got the belly drawn in still and inhaling the shoulders over the hips. So we're coming forward and back. Allow the hands to take the weight of the upper body. So you can push into the palms to bring you back up if you wish. Great place to stay. It's kind of like an invisible rocking chair. And then when you're ready, the option is to hover the hands. Without the um, pressure of your hands, you're having to take the weight of your upper body with that corset of muscles. And if you feel better with the hands on your legs, then that's where you stay. Otherwise, we bring the elbows in towards the ribs as if you're holding a box in front of you, thumbs to the sky. And this is a great place to stay. If you want to add on, on that forward motion, you can send the arms out in front of you. This activates around um, the corset of muscles, especially around the lower back. So the further out those fingertips go, the more you might sense activates in the mid to lower back, only going as far as the breath guides you. Keep the breath flowing. And the option is to pulse here. The option is next time you come forward to stay. Broaden the collarbones, send those fingertips out in front of you if your arms are raised as much as feels comfortable and we're breathing. Belly button's drawn in and up. There's a length through the crown of your head. Let's take three more breaths here. Soften the gaze or close the eyes. Elevator breath. Inhaling and exhaling. You've got one last breath. Stay for the last exhale. Hands come down to the thighs and on the inhale, push into the hands and bring yourselves up. Take a breath in. Exhale, soften through the belly and the lower back. And take another two breaths like that. Softening tension, tightness, notice what happens or what's been happening in your body, the feedback that it's giving you. And then from here, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So if you are sitting deeply into the back of your chair, you could consider to come forward. That way you've got a little bit of space behind you. Feet and seat root, lifting up through the crown of the head and the breath is that same elevator breath coming in and up, down on the exhale. Fingertips come to that belly button, or you can imagine it. Fingers slide down, the breath is still flowing. You can feel that pressure on one of your fingers resting gently on your clothes. Fingertips turn very cold like ice cubes and you're simply drawing the skin away. The breath is still flowing and that's the activation. This time we're taking the elbows directly in towards the ribs as if you're holding a box in front of you, thumbs to the sky, this is gonna help. This is the inhale. On the exhale, drawing the chin in towards the chest, that activation in the belly, we're just taking the arms back as we send the, or it's taking the shoulders back as we send the fingertips forward. Inhaling back up to center, elbows draw in towards the ribs. Nicely done. So again, those palms can be as wide or as Close together is soften your shoulders. The arms coming forward counteracts the weight of the upper body coming back, so that helps. You might notice that the pubic bone is drawing towards that belly button somewhat, especially if you have that internal focus, soft gaze, closed eyes. Inhaling, the breath draws you up, 
exhaling, that elevator draws all the way down, maybe to the pelvic bowl, maybe all the way down to the floor. Imagine, sense, and feel it in your own way. There's no wrong way to do it. And maybe you play with drawing the shoulders back a little bit more and noticing how that feels in those lower abdominals. Only go as far as the breath is guiding you. And then the option is, next time you come back to stay, fingertips are extended out as much as you like. And we're here, belly button drawing in and up, those transverse abdominals drawing in just gently, like there's an ice cube resting there. And you've got three more breaths. Go inside, close the eyes, soften the gaze. Stay with that elevator breath all the way in on the inhale, all the way down on the exhale. You've got one more. Stay for the exhale. And on that inhale, as if I've just pulled your heart forward, coming all the way up. Taking a big breath in. Exhaling out. Nicely done. Take a few breaths here. Take a big breath in, maybe take your hand to your belly, breathe right into the palm of your hand so the belly gets soft. And exhaling. Uh -huh. Two more just like that. Breathing into that belly as if you're inflating a balloon. And exhaling. Nicely done. And then from here we're gonna take those feet a little wider. If you want more support, sit back on your chair. If you want less, come more forward. Rooting down to rise. So we're pushing down into the feet, into the seat, and we're lifting from there. Come back to that steadiness of breath. In the inhale, there's that elevator rising. In the exhale, it's settling down to anywhere that feels comfortable to you, maybe even all the way down to the earth. So the breath is smooth. Hands resting on those thighs. And then from here, we're gonna take some barrel rolls through the ribs and the inhaling, we're coming forward, up to the side and exhaling back. Big circles through the abdominals. Allow this to be your own move. So as big or as small as you like, you can even simply imagine this movement. But this is, although it's flowing, it's very purposeful. We're not throwing our ribs around in a circle. It is very controlled. You can get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved if you like. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, this is strengthening through the entire of our core. Two more in this direction. Noticing the places that feel easeful, not just resting on the places that feel challenging. At the end of the next exhale, we'll pause and then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Smooth it out as best as you can. Allow this again to be your own movement. It's not going to look the same way within two bodies. We're all different. Allow this to be your movement. Rest whenever you need to or three more. At the end of that next exhale, we're coming all the way back to center. Take those legs back to center too. And we'll just wash those knees from side to side, releasing any tension that may have built up in the hips from that external rotation. Coming back to center in your own time. Rooting. Feet and seat to rise up. Soften the shoulders, broaden across the chest, and come back to that elevator breath. Soften the gaze, close the eyes. 
Feel that rising of the inhale, the settling and grounding of the exhale. Imagine, if you like, those roots that were deep into the earth. And on that inhale, you're drawing out that energy to the crown of your head, filling your body. And on that exhale, there's a sense of softening and grounding. Notice how you're feeling. Notice your breath steady, any parts of the breath that feel labored or jumpy. Notice the very core of your body, the center line, the plumb line, through the torso. And we'll keep that awareness when you're ready. If you have closed eyes, blink them open. And we're going to come down on the floor, making sure you have everything with you that you should need for or that you'd like for relaxation, any extra layers, pillows, blankets, bolsters, anything like that. And I'll see you down on the earth. Here we are, down on the earth. Let's come all the way to our back. Any extra padding you might need underneath you or support underneath your head, please take it. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Once you're down here, pick up your hips. Send your tailbone a little bit closer towards your heels so we lengthen through the spine. Take a big breath in. Exhale, allow your body weight to rest into the earth. Take another three breaths like that. Those exhales, allowing yourself and your body to be supportive. And after you've settled into being held, that support underneath you, come back to the breath, starting maybe in the pelvic bowl. Inhaling up through to the crown of the head or any amount, exhaling back down. And maybe it comes from your toes all the way up through your head. Maybe it comes even further away up above you. Settle the breath back down. Hands resting at the side of your hips as wide as you need those palms to be, palms down. Um, to keep the shoulders soft. And then just walk one shoulder blade closer towards your spine and then the other. So there's that width across the collarbone. Same thing that we do when we um, sit upwards and I say broaden across the collarbones. This allows the shoulders to sit deeply into the earth somewhat. Elevator breath. Get rooted through your feet. Both feet evenly, the toes are soft here, but we're pushing through not only the heels, but also the balls of the feet very gently, firmly into the ground. Your shoulders and arms are gonna stay connected to the earth, as is the back of your skull. There's a slight tuck of the chin, so the back of the neck is long. On the inhale, pushing into the feet, hovering the hips, maybe a centimeter, and on the exhale, settling them back down. Inhaling, lifting, and exhaling, lowering. Elevate your breath up towards the um, crown of your head, exhaling, coming all the way back down. Now you may have noticed that that lower abdominal engagement is still there. So does that drawing inwards and towards the spine of the belly button as you do this. Inhaling and exhaling. We're not concerned about the height here. What we want is the rhythm of the movement to be matching your breath. Option to stay here, just slightly hovering the hips just a little bit off the ground, so maybe you could slide fingertips underneath and down. If you want to add more on the inhale, we're lifting the hips a little higher, exhaling further down. If you're feeling a lot of pinching through the lower back, you might want to widen your feet somewhat. 
but the knees are stacked above the ankle, so there's no winging out or in at the knees. Inhaling and exhaling. You can use the fingertips all the way up through the arms, the shoulders, and the back of the head, as well as the feet to get lift through the hips. There's a pulsing here of the breath. That pubic bone is slightly drawn in towards the belly button, and the belly button is drawn in towards the spine. Nicely done. If you want to add on, on the inhale, we're going to turn those thumbs up towards the sky. On the inhale, we're going to lift the arms up, maybe towards the ceiling, maybe all the way overhead. That's the inhale. Exhaling, hands settling back down to the hips and towards the earth. Inhaling up. There's a lifting, exhaling down. Put elevator breath going. The arms are an extension of the breath, so make sure that you're not holding the breath at the top or the bottom. You might notice as you're doing this that you're pushing more into one foot than the other as you do. See if you can even that out, and if that means adjusting where your feet are on the earth, please do that. You've got a couple more breaths, pulsing, or for the last three breaths, as the hips lift and maybe the arms lift, we stay there three breaths, soften through the gaze, elevate your breath. Steady the breath, even as there might be some micro shakes there. More or less, one more breath to go. And on that exhale, lowering the hips, lowering the hands. And when you're ready, drawing one knee in and the other, giving yourself a hug, rocking and rolling from side to side. Knees can be towards each other or wide by the um, armpits, whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, knees to the sky, feet to the floor once again, and breathing, elevate your breath. Now, drawing the belly button down towards the center of the earth somewhat, so we've got that connection in towards those lower abdominals, strengthening and stabilizing through the core. Hands can be resting by your hips as before, or um, you can take your arms in a cactus or a T shoulder height, as long as those hands are resting on the earth. If they're dangling in the air, then please bring them back to somewhere where they're supported. Elevate your breath. And then on the inhale, we're lifting up the right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, taking the foot down. Inhaling, alternate leg. So we're drawing one knee in. Exhaling, foot down to the earth. Inhaling, the opposite knee in. Exhaling, down. Belly button is connected down to the earth. Keep the breath flowing and steady. And this is also a whole lot going on here through your abdomen. Option to stay. Option to take those feet down and rest. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Now you can do alternate legs again. Or we're bringing those knees up over the hips. And the heels can be down by your seat. That's going to make things a little easier. Or you can flex those ankles, bring the ankles up to knee height. 
The closer those knees are towards your chest, the easier this is going to be for you. The further um, the knees are over the hips and away from you, the more challenging it's going to be. So belly buttons dipping towards the earth and we're breathing here. Elevator breath from the pelvic bowl all the way up through the crown of your head and exhaling down or toes to crown. And this can be a lot right here. You get to choose how much or little you work depending on the placement of your knees. Keeping the belly button down towards the earth, the option is opposite legs extend. So on the inhale, extend out the right leg any amount, exhaling, knees come back to center and continue. Belly button connects down to the earth. Those legs as they extend can extend a little or a lot. You can keep nice bends in those knees or shoot them towards the end of your mat, even hovering the heel from the mat. But making sure that the belly button is drawn in and down towards the earth. There's a whole lot going on in the core here. Keep it steady and flowing. You've got another three either side. Elevator breath, internal focus. Keeping it steady, rest whenever you need to. Only as far as your breath is taking you. More or less, one more extension, or when you're ready, feet down to the floor, knees to the sky, and just wash the knees from side to side, softening through the abdomen. Keep the breath flowing. And then coming all the way back to center when you're ready. You can do any of the previous modifications if you're adding on. We'll take both feet up towards the sky, feet come towards each other. You can keep a nice bend in that knee or straightening up through the back of the legs. If you flex the ankles, toes coming back towards you and spreading through the toes, that's going to activate the back of the legs somewhat more. So maybe you want that sensation, maybe you don't. You can stay here. Or alternate legs. Right leg extends away from you any amount. Belly's drawn in and up still and we're inhaling back to center. Then the left leg, and maybe it's like five degrees away from you. Maybe it's a little more. Those heels can come as low as you feel comfortable. Just alternate legs. Not going as far as the belly popping up from the earth, and getting an arch through the lower back. So it's really imperative that that belly button is drawn down towards the earth. The breath is steady. And you can stay here, working at your own pace and breath. If you want to add on we're taking both feet a little bit further away from you, only as far as the breath, that elevator breath is staying. Be honest with yourself, and it's not gonna take very much. We don't want the belly popping up, even if that means that the legs can lower a little more. Option to stay here, option, little kicks. Inhaling and exhaling, tiny kicks with the legs, belly buttons drawn down, the breath is stable. Elevator breath. And we've got that holding or little kicks for another three and two and one. 
Come to stillness, draw the bent knees in towards the chest, lower the heels down, and rock and roll from side to side. Come back to center, feet come down to the earth. Pick the hips up and send the hips towards the right side of your mat. Extend the left leg out long, Maybe a flex in that ankle, right knee draws up into the palm of the left hand, right arm is extended out, shoulder connected to the earth, right knee over to the left, so we're coming into a twist. Play with how high or how low you want that knee to be, you can support it underneath that knee, ankle or shin with a bolster or pillow, right shoulder is grounded. If that right shoulder is connected downwards, take the gaze over that right shoulder. And I want you to take the breath all the way down into that lower abdominals, like you're blowing up a balloon. And exhaling, letting go. You might even expand that balloon into also your lower back. You might connect in through the right waistline as well. After all that activation in the lower abdominals, we want some softening there. Nicely done. Take as long as you want here, or when you're ready, Gaze comes to center, right knee draws up, right foot to the floor, bend the left knee, foot to the floor too, shift the hips back to center, and then when you're ready, over to the left. Right leg extends now, maybe a flex in that ankle, left knee draws up and over as that left shoulder stays rooted. Play with where you want that left knee to be, higher, lower, closer towards the floor, closer towards the ceiling, prop it, support it if needs be. And then the gaze can come over that left shoulder or close the eyes. And then take those breaths back into the belly, the lower back and the left waistline as if you're blowing up a balloon inside your lower abdomen. And exhaling, releasing, finding some flow, some breath down there. And of course, we don't really have lungs all the way down in our belly, but we're breathing so deeply into the lower lungs that the diaphragm pushes down, which pushes the belly out, the waistline and the back of the body as well. making any adjustments you need, but we want that breath going through the lower body. Stay here for as long as you like, or when you're ready, the gaze comes to center, the knee comes to center, knees to the sky, reposition your hips. And then from there, any movements that you need to end up your practice or when you're ready, find yourself in your relaxation. Maybe the legs go long, you're coming to your side. Maybe there's another more comfortable place for you. Your choice, there is no wrong way to be in relaxation. The key is that you're comfortable. And as you get yourself settled, adding any extra comfort you might need for your own ease. Settle yourself in and down. And then taking your awareness all the way down into your belly. And you may want to either imagine or place one palm or both palms on that lower belly. And I want you to imagine a balloon, just like before, 
in your lower abdomen and on an inhale steadily slowly inflating that balloon any color you wish and exhaling allowing as the breath leaves that balloon to deflate taking those steady breaths in and we get an expansion, exhaling, the letting go. Releasing any tightness, any tension from that lower abdominal area, either the front, the belly, around the hips and the waist, or into the lower and mid back. You got another three breaths, deliberate belly breaths. Steady and smooth, two more. And we all go at our own pace, so don't worry if you're not going to the pace that I'm calling. Take your time on that last exhale. We're gonna inhale deeper, fill up with breath, hold the breath right at the top. Soften the muscles, especially in your belly, and let the breath go. Two more like that, we inhale, we hold, we release tension, and we exhale. One more just like that. And then let the breath go entirely. No more control. And the breath comes as easily as possible. Every exhale, allow your body to melt like butter in the sun into that support underneath you. Send your awareness out to expand. Maybe even past the boundaries of your body. Take in everything about this moment without needing to dissect it or unpack it. Allow yourself that more expansive awareness. As you intentionally invite yourself to keep letting go more and more. Releasing any tightness, any tension, breath by breath. And let the thoughts go too. As if you're hearing music from the next room, and those are your thoughts coming and going, and you just simply choose to tune them out. And sure, every now and again, you might notice one more than the other, like you would notice a familiar song, a familiar melody coming from the other room and you get caught up in that thought just for a moment and then let it go when you notice. you've allowed that softness to creep into your body and you've allowed that softening of the thoughts notice how you feel once you release the body release the thoughts notice yourself in this your consciousness, your awareness that is watching it all. Allowing it 
to roam free. The expansiveness that is you. If you get caught up in a thought, a sensation, a memory, an idea, notice it and let it go. And come back to that expansive awareness that is you as you simply are aware of it all. And you can stay here for as long as you like. If you have more time, tune my words out and stay for longer. Or allow your awareness to deepen into your body now, settling down, filling your body from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips. As if your awareness was like water filling up your container. And without needing to change a thing, simply notice how it feels to settle your awareness into your body. And notice what you're aware of insights, the language of your body speaking to you, emotions, welcome it all. And then take your awareness when you're ready all the way down to the soles of your feet. Imagine, sense or feel that the breath started there as if you could inhale through the soles of your feet all the way up through your body on an inhale to the crown of your head exhale sweep that breath all the way back down towards the soles of your feet fill up your body as you inhale all the way in exhaling sweeping that breath all the way out some bigger brighter breaths here as you invite that breath and consciousness fully back into every cell of your body, aware of everything. And with those mindful, broader breaths, starting to bring movement, awakening movements into your belly, into your fingertips, maybe undulating and away into your toes, your ankles, your wrists, your head. And wherever you are, allow your dance of awakening to start. Maybe slow and lazy. Maybe you want to stretch out wide. Give yourself a hug. If you're on your back, maybe drawing your knees to the sky, washing your knees from side to side like windshield wipers before tipping all the way to one side if that feels good in your body or another way that you're called to taking a rest on the way before you make your way up to a place that you want to finish up your practice today settling in and settling down hands in a gesture of gratitude, of closing today, whatever that means for you, there's no wrong way to do this. Take a breath in to the top of the crown of your head, exhale as that breath descends, lower the chin, 
close the eyes or lower the gaze. And just take a moment tuning in towards that inner core of your body, that plumb line of your body. And notice subtle shifts. Notice how you feel after your practice. Notice the elevator breath, the soft breath here as it draws up and the exhale down, a breath you can keep coming back to throughout the day to remind you of your posture, of that strength from the inside out. From my heart to yours, greatest thanks for your practice, for putting this time aside for you. I wish you a wonderful week.